Hi, welcome to this video on uh, 40 Manager 4.3.3. Today we're going to talk about uh, administrative domains, uh, how to create them, and uh, some of the new navigation features that have been added in 4.3.3. Okay, let's get started. First we'll log in as the uh, Global Administrator. So if you don't have your unit uh, in administrative uh, ADOM mode already, you can uh, go to the system settings dashboard. You'll see on the system information widget, there's an administrative domain uh, option here. So you can just click the enable link to turn on, uh, turn on the ADOMs. Uh, this will log you out right away. And then uh, you just log in again, and ADOM mode will be enabled. So let's turn that on. Log in again. And ADOMs are on. So you notice uh, now when ADOMs are enabled uh, in the previous versions, you would still be sent to the system settings dashboard page. Uh, this behavior has been changed in 4.3.3. So you'll be taken immediately to the admin domain page. Uh, this is probably a very common page to go to for administrators uh, since they'll probably be accessing a lot of the ADOM information right away. So I'll show you a few new features here. Um, to add new VDOMs, you can either, or add new ADOMs, sorry, you can click the Create New button. Uh, you can right click on the table itself and click the New link. Uh, existing ADOMs you can edit, you can delete them, or you can enter the ADOM. Uh, so we're just going to create a new one here. And call this one test. Uh, when you're creating your ADOM, you can choose the version of uh, 40 gates that you're going to support. Uh, say the 4.3 version of uh, OS on the 40 gates, or or MR2. Uh, you can put the ADOM in a, two different modes. The first mode is the normal mode. This will allow you to do uh, normal uh, configuration of your 40 gates. Uh, or there's backup mode, which uh, will back up the configuration from your 40 gates, but you don't do the administration from the 40 manager. You would still log into your 40 gate and continue modifying and then backing it up to the 40 manager. Uh, the 40 manager can restore the configuration as well back to the 40 gates as necessary. Uh, you can also choose which mode you would like for your VPN management. You can use the centralized VPN console or the policy-based uh, VPN. Uh, at this point too, if you already have some devices added to the 40 manager, you can choose which devices you would like to add to this new ADOM at this point. Uh, we don't have any right now, so we'll, we're going to skip this one here and we'll add our own afterwards. So we'll click OK to create our new ADOM. And you'll notice here, so our, our new ADOM test has been added to the list here shows up in the left menu and um, so another new feature here is uh, if we have a large number of ADOMs we've made this section searchable so we can just start typing in the name of the uh, ADOM and it'll it'll uh, reduce the amount of searching you need to do to find that particular ADOM in the list uh, this is very similar to what's here. You can do the filtering this way too on on the table. Uh, so we will, or another way to enter the ADOM besides this drop down list is to hover over the table entry here. You can click the enter button. You can right click on that entry and click enter ADOM. Or you can right click on the uh, menu en uh, entry and click enter ADOM. So several ways to get to the, to the ADOM. 
So we'll just use the one in the corner here for now. And we'll go into our ADOM. So there's a new modification here. When you've entered into an ADOM, you can uh, you can switch between other ADOMs, go back to global this way as well. There's also a new global icon. This will take you immediately back to the global ADOM. So this takes us to our device manager. And at this point, we can add new devices. Uh, you can view the default policy objects. Uh, these are all created when you create your ADOM. So there's some defaults in there. And uh, that's about it. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.